Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video, you yes, golf life, life legend. legend. We're back with the Bulldog and we're doing a little slicing video today, aren't we? We are, mate. Yeah, we've had some yeah, massive comments. Loads in. of comments. Yeah, the one we've highlighted is the yep. Nick Hay. Thanks for sending that in, Nick mate. Nick Hay, thank you. But there's been an overwhelming response to our request of uh, getting the comments so in. So many. What you, you want to see and what you don't. Myself so keep them coming, but also this is a really common one. There's loads of you talking about oh. issues with slicing. Yeah. So that's what we're going to address today, mate. How well, we when it comes through, that that is a big yeah. thing of it. They're such big heads, aren't they? A lot yeah. of, especially high handicappers, yeah. struggle with slicing. I, I was a massive slicer, yeah, yeah. so I relate to this question yeah. more than and anyone. I, and and I still slice well. it. Are you just saying? Yeah, well, I used to draw it and now I slice it. I don't know what, how it's happened, but hopefully right, after okay. today, we can address that and find out I think out 80% I of it. golfers are related to this. Yeah, this yeah, is totally, why we've gone totally, with it. Totally. it? So uh, what I want to do today is give you some feelings and little tips that I believe help me. Mm -hmm. I know they help me for yeah. a fact, but I think they're going to help you. Yeah. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. You know, they're only little hints, and you may have heard them before, but hopefully, if I put them in slightly different terminology, you'll really grab hold of it. Okay. And it, it'll help. Them. Right. So what we're going to address first then? Um, well, against the slice, a lot of what I'm going to be talking about is the way you come into the ball. So our I see goal. A lot of my feelings up here. Mm -hmm. I don't really like messing around with. A lot of my stuff is what I call the money, what's happening down here. Yeah. What the ball knows, really. Do you get what I mean? I understand there's coaches out there, and I'm, look, I'm not a coach. No. Right? First things first. Yeah, yeah. But I understand why... But you are what a scratch golfer as well, and you've had a few lessons, and you've had this problem, so... Yeah, yeah. And, and, and a lot of it's self-taught, Ange. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. A lot yeah. of it I've picked up, I've watched on YouTube, magazines, whatever. So mm -hmm. I know they work. Yeah. I know the things I've gone to. I've picked tour pros' minds. Mm -hmm. I've picked tour pros coaches' yeah. mind, yeah, so I've been around it. I've been so lucky. Players, yeah. So a lot of my stuff is usually relate to it. I know mm. it'll work, so yeah. really take it on ball. First of all, stop a slice. Don't be afraid to pick the ball up. Right. I think it's massive. I, I see too many, especially the size of these heads, I see too many amateurs pegging it low. In Remember, your... the sweet spot's nice and high on the face if we're trying to stop a slice. So in your opinion, because there's a little, always a lot of talk about how high the ball should be up on the face of a driver. Yeah. It, where where do you peg yours and is there like a an optimum level of where it should be on the face when you address it? I'll go back to pros, they're all peg it different. We are here to fix a slice. Yeah. Peg it as high as you want. Hi. I'm talking full blast, big T, peg it as high as you want. Because what I want to promote, and I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about it first, yeah. is an upward strike. So as you're coming in, it's in the ball on the up. Um, if you've got a low T, you can't get under it. And um, for uh, Amateurs, mid handicappers like yeah. me, why would that eradicate? Uh, well, reduce the slice if you hit it up on the ball. A lot of slicers yeah. come down on the ball. I feel mm -hmm. they come down and they squeeze it. They come over the top of it. Their, their swing path is left. So if I'm shooting that way, it's down and their swing path is left. If that's the ball there and I'm shooting that way, they're coming down on it. No good. Mm -hmm. That's going to promote a slice. It's so, going to promote so that. The club face open, you're coming out to in, yes. which will naturally carve through the ball. And Absolutely. Is that, is that what you're saying? Absolutely. What I want you to concentrate on is it the ball on the up. Yeah. That will help. It won't fix everything. Yeah. But a few things I'm going to talk, talk you through will, now. Will, will that hitting the ball on the up, is it because you're hitting it on the up, will, it, will that promote like yeah, exactly body, that. body term, which means. You won't block as much? Not or? so much body turn, but if you're trying to hit it on the up, what hopefully it will try and do is try and get you on the inside path more. Okay. Do you get what I mean? You're so hanging almost back. promoting a draw rather than a, rather than a slice. So all these are opposites. Yeah. Exactly what I'm telling you now. They're drawer sequences. They're, 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 draw, they're draw shot fills. Yeah. So I always think opposite. If I'm, mm. gonna hit, if I'm fighting a slice, yeah. hit big duck hooks. Right, okay. Just go opposite. You're on the range, you've got 100 balls, that's out of it. I think um, that's probably a key thing as creative. well, isn't it? You, you, you can never turn up on a golf course and expect to hit straight ball. So would you say like getting a routine and practicing at the range is probably the Massive. key thing to do Point. for off the back of this video, hopefully? Absolutely. I want you to go and practice. I want you pegging the ball up. I want you imagining hitting the ball on the up. And the other thing I want you to imagine is if we're this way, imagine a clock face. Mm -hmm. This is massive. I remember reading an article, Adam Scott, back in the day, not to go on about tour pros too much here, but yeah. imagine a clock face, six to 12. Imagine it in at seven o'clock. It's funny that, isn't it? Because obviously then we probably need to highlight this is having hitting a driver is to a totally different technique to hitting an iron because People sort yeah. of promote iron shots as coming down into the ball through, the, through the back of it into the ground. It's a downward and strike. Always hitting it. So it's, it's a totally different technique to. Some of the best drivers of the world 
hit five, six, seven degrees up. Yeah. Like some of them are hitting up like that, Ange. How are you going to do that if the tee's low? Yeah. One tip I'll just give you. You can't, it's, yeah. you can, but it's going to help if you peg that ball nice and high. I think that's a, that's a good point because with me, one, I don't hit a driver because I'm scared of it. And two, when I did, I always pegged it quite low because the higher it went, comment down below if, if you think it's the same, but I got intimidated the higher the tee was. With all that said, yeah. and this is where golf is so tricky, with all that said, a lot of golf is so path related and face related. Yeah. So whatever happens, whether you hit it on the up, if you're still hitting it on the up with your path left and your face open, yeah. you're still gonna slice. Yeah. It's still gonna slice. Right, okay. So what I would say, try and come up on it, imagine it at seven o'clock and keep that face pointing left. Right, okay. And try and keep the face pointing left of path. Right, okay. So if that's your line, Richie, if that's your line there, right? I know the sun's a nightmare, isn't it? But a lot of golfers, will be coming across that and down. Down. Yeah. I don't want you that. I want you inside it and up, i.e. seven o'clock. Okay. Seven o'clock's this side. Right. Five o'clock's that side. That's six o'clock, yeah? Okay. So if you peg that hole, you can see how high I pegged that. Yeah. That's almost a full ball above my thingy. Just to exaggerate it. Go on the range, exaggerate it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. What are you going to lose? You well, yeah, you're not. Yeah, if you lose balls, they're not your balls to Absolutely. lose, I guess, are you? So, yeah. So I, I want you to really, on the up, Seven o'clock, and as I said, that face, get it pointing left. And hopefully, all them three things I think are huge to draw in a ball yeah. with a driver. I, I think mean, they're we, massive. We were talking off camera about body. You're not really a body person, are you? You were saying, and you, and you had a few people, you know, people give you advice, and you're like, choose to ignore that, taking that on board. Mm. For people at home, what, what would you suggest as a, as a percentage sort of body movement, if, if any, would, would sort of benefit them to reduce the slice again see with me I, i've never related to my body doing yeah my body just does yeah it's very hard for me uh, i know Feet other position golfers. would you open your left foot slightly out like you uh, see because like ryan fox you, you, we talked about yeah. him didn't we Splat. Yeah. yeah yeah i don't want to get too technical i really don't no? I, 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 what i want to give you is the things that have helped me yeah let's have it right you're all going to grip it different mm -hmm. You've got yeah, strong, you've got weight, into long, yeah. I don't want to get involved with that. Yeah. I think there's drawers out there with weak grips, there's drawers out there with strong grips, mm -hmm. right? That to me, I don't want to get involved. You grip it how you want to grip yeah. it. I honestly believe yeah. that. It's top elite, number one in the world's got a weak grip, number two in the world's got the mega strong yeah. grip, right? I don't want to get involved in that. Yeah. Alignment, yeah, I think alignment will help if you get a nice fundamental ball position. All the relates that you read in every book, mm. I don't want to get involved in. They're all gimmies. Right. You go and work with your fundamentals, mm -hmm. but I'm giving you feels and reels and tips yeah. that have helped me. Yeah. And they are drawing aspects of the, but they are things that will help you draw the ball. Right. Another little tip that James Eve gave me, one of the best, and this 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 man's magic. Like mm. he I've been around a lot of players and you listen, but this was a mega tip for me, because I used to be a holder and a slicer. That's why I relate to this yeah. question yeah. so much. Yeah. And he gave me one, let the club head overtake the handle. Right. And this was like one, when you have a motion, like all these little things are amazing. But when you have one that really hits home, that's motion, like in action, it's like, wow, it's money. At impact, I was very handle leady. Yeah. My handle's leading the club head. As mm -hmm. soon as I got into really freeing myself up and letting that club head beat handle, now look at that for a feel. You'd think that's mad you're doing that. Yeah. I ain't obviously going to do that in real life. It's no. impossible. But it's the feel. But it's the feel yeah. and let the club head overtake your hands. Wow. That's a drawer's feel. Yeah. There is no drawer in the world that really traps it like that and mm. handles leading. You can't possibly do it. Physics yeah, yeah. don't allow you to. Yeah. So when that goes, it just frees you up. A lot of you slicers will be holding it and you'll be handle leady. Right. I'm more say so, a lot of yous. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? You'll be down strike, handle leady, and you're ahead of the club head. Get the club head ahead. Almost flick it. For me, yeah. if you paused every tour player at impact, totally every different. single one of them would have different weight distribution. Right. Okay. Every single one. Okay. So again, who am I to say? Yeah. But I do believe a drawer, I think it's a bit more of a it relates again. Yeah. I think it's a bit more of a sit back shot. That's how I feel it. When I'm really? drawing, See, I'm a bit so more strange. of a sit-back shot. Yeah. Let the hands club head go and let it go. That's what I feel. So but then you'll get drawers yeah. that just stay on it and can draw it like that. So everyone's so different. You'll see some at him. 
Ryan Fox, for example. Yeah. Right? Who you yeah. just mentioned. Yeah. He is set so behind it, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Then you'll get another one who's on stack and tilt, for instance. They're on it like that. 70% of the weight there. He's got 80% of his weight there. You get, same as football. Yeah. Everyone took free kicks. I took free kicks. Mm. I took it different to Beckham. Yeah. I took it different to Frank. Yeah. I come in a ball totally different to a lot of players, but I'd full belief in what I was doing. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I knew it worked for me. So, so you, game, you were manipulating the ball in different ways, but you were still hitting it pure. Is absolutely. That, yeah. So, okay. Like, I, I, I'm a different size. I'm, I've got different. My body moves different to Frank's. Yeah. I, I've, as a kid, I, I, I found ways that helped me. Yeah. And the way I could hit a knuckleball, if you want, I run into that different. I come into it different. I'd hit the ball different, but it'd all have a similar outcome. Again, I'm going to give you one last one. With driving, especially with Woods, middle strike. Mm -hmm. I know I've drove you mad about middle strike. Yeah, yeah. But I ain't going to stop. Because I can give, and this, this is a massive thing, I believe a lot of faders, before you go and check your goal swing, go and check where you struck it. Mm -hmm. I always clean my face before I hit driver. Best place for that. Bit, bit of spray, go to the range. Bit of spray, slap it over, yeah. wipe it clean, whatever you want to do. If you've got enough swing power, it'll leave a print yeah. and see where you hit it. Here's one for you, and I, I learned this on track, man. This, this one this one opened my eyes massive. Mm. Like, you go and watch any tour pro, the first things they get, oh, it's a toe strike, oh, I've called that a bit high, oh, it's a bit bottom groovy, oh, it's a bit healy. Yeah, yeah. That's their first go-to, really. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. Their, it's yeah. where they struck it. Then they fix swing later. I think a lot of amateurs go, oh, they work on their swing, mm. but guess what? One thing I learned on track, man, Imagine the same swing, yeah. the same swing speed, you come into it the same, I've got exactly the same swing. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of amateurs will know this. If you hit one toe, one in the middle, and one heel on exactly the same swing, you would get three different ball flights. Yeah. You'd have that hook yeah. off of a neutral swing. You'd have that hook, you'd have that hit dead straight, yeah. and you'd have that So fade. low holes or middle and high toe will all be totally different. Totally even. different ball flights. So again, if you're trying to draw it, Try and cheat it a bit. Hit it high toe. It really help. I think a lot of other faders hit it low heel without knowing. Mm. So really concentrate where you're striking it. Aim high. A lot of sweet spots out of drivers are middle to high toe. Massive. And it and it reduce fade spin. It'll try and help you hit hooky spins. Love that. Massive diff. Like that there is massive. Like huge where you strike it. Especially on fairway woods and drivers. Massive. And irons. But these are even... More so. All right, that's that then. Let's, let's set, Loads set, in there for Let's you set the top slot tracer up and uh, you hit a few, yeah? Oh, this way gets good. Come on, I hope it helps. Right then, your legends, we have switched T block, obviously, different place. Yeah. Some was playing a bit of business. Us, it? And we wanted the Tracy to look as good as possible. So, what Jim's going to do now is he's going to hit a few balls. Turn them over. And talk you. about everything he's just talked about. Yeah. Right. Stick one down, mate, and let's see go how we get it. on. Right, as I said, nice high T peg, look at that. Go out there, get yourself some nice IT pegs. What's the tips I give you? Eye up the face was one of them, weren't it? Yep. Make sure you hit it eye up the face. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, on the up, and just let the club head go, pass everything, right. Here we go. All right, it's down the left, but it's drawn. Has it a fraction? Yeah, that's coming. Lovely. Right, can I have my normal shot now? 